Yo, what is up, everyone? It's Tech Wilder Beast here, bringing you another video on this iPhone 5S, or the first video on it. We're going to be drop testing this guy from waist height, um, from chest height, and then from about six feet high. So, you know, inconsistency at its finest. And then we're going to be submerging it in water. Let's see what happens. All right, so it's right here on my waist. Let's drop it. Three, two, one. All right, so phone does appear to be working perfectly fine. So, yeah. Unless, nope, perfectly working. Right, so we are now at about, um, it's right even with my face. So about five foot nine drop test. Three, two, one. Nothing yet. The phone does seem to be doing really well. Right, so it is now over my head. So let's drop it three, two, one. Right, and what a beast this phone is. It does still appear to be fully working. There's a small scuff right there if you can see it. But yeah, let's move on to the water test of this phone. Right, so we're going to be submerging the phone in here. So let's do it. All right, it gave it about a minute, minute and a half to dry. Let's plug her in and just see what she can do. All right, so I got the foam. Oh, we saw an Apple logo. Anything else? Nope. Maybe I should quick unplug it and then replug it. All right, so you do get an Apple logo for about a split second, but that is it, guys. So, yeah. I just real quick want to thank all of you guys for watching this beautiful um, tech, tech wildebeest, tech racks, I don't even know what this channel's name is anymore video. Next week we're going to be dropping this iPhone 6 off the Burj Khalifa. And then a week later we're going to be throwing this iPhone 4 in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. But the 5S does not appear to have survived our tests. So catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching Tech Wilderbeast or Tech Rex. I should probably come up with a brand new name.